guess? a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again? Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> you really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. blown away. What a drag. Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I, I gotta document this. Oh, where'd my phone go? A light. And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We've got to report this to the police. Uh, right. Today is October... No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's... 2024. <sighs> 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> it's over. It's all over. Um... Should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. 
No. Then that means... This place is next. I'm Juro Izumi. And I've come from the future. This timeline... They're coming. A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Oh. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Oh. Churro. I needed to see you. Just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura. How is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <gasps> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. Wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him.
You're that kitty from before. I'm a cat, not a kitty. B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just... talked to me? They must have not gotten enough sleep last night. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you always this rude? Um... I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit a nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Dimos Code. Ugh. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal job you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. A contract with a cat. Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Well... I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it. I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> Alright, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Uh. If it really is true... And there is a way to bring back Juro. Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to.
It's like that thing has a wall protecting it. How am I supposed to damage it? Judging by the big crane, that one's probably a high quad. Tommy, why are you... What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi, I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tommy. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah, you're right. Sentinel number 23, return. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my Sentinel. You charged out first all thumping your chest and it took you this long to get here? The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Tomy Sentinel won't be much good against it. But your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. What's my next move? Yeah. <laughs> they felt that. I won't give up. What do I we do? will not lose. Okay. What now?
within and what do I do? Let's do this! Yeah! We must survive. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D-forces have changed course. 